Hello, this tutorial will teach you how to use NiceHash.com to buy mining hash power to mine the coins of your choice at any pool. Mining rig owners direct their hash power towards a central stratum server at NiceHash. When a buyer wishes to purchase mining hashing power, he submits a buy order. Then, he is given a chunk of the total hashing power provided by the rig owners. The buyer then points this hash rate at any pool he chooses. To get started using NiceHash.com to buy mining hashing power, we need to go to their website and register a new user account. Click register at the top of the page, enter your email, type the words, and click register. Go to your email and follow the link that you received from NiceHash. This will allow you to set your password for your new account. Once you have created your password, you can now log in to NiceHash.com. Once you have logged in, you will be directed to the orders page. This page will show you any active buy orders that you may have. This page also allows you to create new buy orders, which is what we'll be doing in just a second. But first, we have to fund our account with some bitcoins. So click on the wallet button, click generate bitcoin deposit address, then copy this address over to your bitcoin wallet and send some bitcoins towards it. I'm going to deposit some bitcoin now, and once they become confirmed, I'll come back and show you how to place some buy orders. Once you have bitcoin on nicehash.com, you can pretty much mine anything you want regardless of the difficulty. You have such massive hash rates available to you. So I chose Doge and Darkcoin. Their two completely different algorithms should prove for a good test of NiceHash's capabilities. All right, a little bit of strategy before we jump right into the orders. If we look at the front page of NiceHash, on the right side we see the information for buyers, and this is a very important table. The low renting price means the price that you can pay to receive some hash power. The high renting price is what you can pay to receive maximum hash power, and that's for any given coin on this list. And then if we scroll down, we'll see the active orders for those algorithms. So if we look at script, and this will be Dogecoin that we mine, I want to be about the third or the fourth highest bidder, so we're talking 0 0.41 is what we're going to shoot for for Dogecoin. And if we click on X11 for Darkcoin, for Darkcoin I want to be the highest bidder so that I get the most hash rate. So I'm going to put a bid above this. It's going to be 0 0.28 just to be on the safe side. Let's make some orders. When you're creating a new order, you can mouse over this little icon here and a box pops up the box explains how the approximate duration is calculated, and it's something that everybody should know who's using these, and I highly recommend you read that information at some point in time. Alright, this is the Dogecoin order. We are submitting it now. And here's the Darkcoin order. We're going to submit this one now. This is about one and a half minutes into our Dogecoin order. Notice the speed in giga hashes is higher than the limit we set. That's a good thing. And the pool is reporting 1.185 giga hashes per second. That's an even better thing. So I'd call this one a definite success. All right, here is our order for Darkcoin on nice hash, 4.686 giga hashes per second. And on the pool, it's reporting 4.756. So that's a win-win situation. I think this is a great success. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any further questions, please take a look at the comprehensive FAQ at NiceHash.com. And remember, at NiceHash you can buy massive hashing power with just a few clicks. Thank you for using NiceHash.